Some of you are gonna remember that I recently got a second blank patch panel uh, that you could put any kind of keystone you like in it. And I actually uh, needed to get some new ones because the ones that FS sent me forever ago um, are actually slightly different than the ones available on FS's website. So I wanted to buy some of these older keystones uh, that they originally sent me so that I can have two patch panels with matching keystones and you know obviously matching colors and stuff but they stopped selling this one and now they sell a slightly newer version uh, and these are called uh, mini cat 6a shielded toolless keystone jacks uh, which are basically identical to these except they're mini but what's actually the difference between the two and if any besides one being mini well that's what this video is going to go uh, set out to show you guys or try to prove or show, well, it doesn't matter. I'll try to show to you guys what the differences are between the original ones that you can't actually buy anymore, the ones that I have, and the new ones. Uh, so let's let's find out. So this here is the original Keystone. I don't have the original packaging for it, but everything that you see here is from the original uh, packaging or what was inside of it. So of course you got the Keystone itself. Um, not much to look at. Well, actually, I guess this is the most to look at. Um, you know, you've got that outer shell, which is nice. It clicks well. Uh, it's it's pretty cool and simple to use. Uh, the biggest thing to take note of here is that, you know, this is keyed, so you can't put this piece in uh, incorrectly. Like, it only goes in one way, which is really nice. Uh, but, yeah, so just looking at this and seeing this key, that's really the only significant thing to take away from this. And then the most significant change is actually in this piece here. Um, you know, this, this is the piece that shows you which way to uh, set your, each individual wire. And then once you have each of your individual wires, uh, you know, you just kind of plug it into here, right? But what's changed, and this is going to be kind of hard to show, but here is one of the keyings right here. And on this side, it's basically blank. So there's nothing to see here. So now, oh, and also you get an included zip tie or tweezer, whatever you want to call this. All right, let's set that aside for now. And in the new package with the mini, the mini version, so you see here, mini, cat 6a, blah, 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 blah. They look pretty much identical. Um, you'd be pretty hard, hard pressed to tell the difference between these two. I think the mini is a slightly different color. It seems a little brighter than its um, original non-mini version they do appear to be the same size in literally every regard yeah they they're almost the same size in every which way this one is ever so slightly uh not as tall but they look like they have the same width to me and again you know they look pretty much identical um you'd be pretty hard pressed to tell the differences like like there are differences uh I'm a little hard to see here, but even inside of here, you can tell this has got, I guess, more plastic on the interior. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be back there. And this one does not. Uh, the tops are different, so the Mini has a more full plastic um, tooth here to help it stay inside of any uh, patch panel or any Keystone-like plate than this one does. Um, obviously, they seem to have a slightly different um, design too, but ever so slightly. But that's it. That's really only the only major differences. Um, they really look pretty much the same. I'll have to detach that later. Now, the big difference is actually with these two pieces here. So the Mini has this, oop, has a key here that can only go in one direction. And it also has a tooth, man, I really don't know if you guys can see that, a tooth right here. And so this tooth actually is able to bite into the rear of this. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to unlock this, give me that second. All right, so the tooth now also latches on to the interior. So you still have the keying, which you know only allows you to put it in one way. But now this, this piece actually stays in much more nicely. I've never had a problem with this coming out, um, but that may have been something people identified. I'm not sure what would cause them to change the design, the interior design. 
uh, but having that tooth is a nice little touch. Now, what makes this kind of dangerous is that it is now super difficult to remove these two if you make a mistake. Um, it is possible, it just takes a little bit of strength to just, you know, pop these uh, away from each other. But again, here is, ooh, here is a side-by-side -side of the two. So mini right here, original right here, different colored whites. The, white, the whites are definitely different. Uh, the teeth are on top. This has a much bulkier tooth. This one has a much more slim tooth. Or, I'm sorry, key. These have different keys. Much larger key, smaller key. A tooth here and no tooth. Um, also, uh, they appear to have pretty much almost the same near um, width or girth or depth. I don't know what to call it. The new one seems to be thicker all the way around. Uh, which is interesting. The only thing that's different is just shorter. So it's it is slightly shorter than the old one, but otherwise the plastic on here seems a lot more durable. Um, other notable differences are, of course, this has a hole for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's for. I haven't looked into it. And then you know they're pretty much pretty much the same. Last thing to test here is you know does the mini fit in? So this is a ubiquity patch panel patch panel or blank patch panel. Will it fit in there? Obviously the answer is gonna be yes. Obviously it's gonna fit in the FS branded blank patch panel as well, but we're gonna do a test fit anyway, just to you know ensure to everyone that you know there isn't any significant change to the keystone that would prevent it from fitting. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this in here from an awkward angled in while recording. Yep, it fits. So old one, new one, uh, of course it would fit. They look a lot more similar while in the patch panel than they do right next to each other. So this one's a little bit more snug. This one's got a little bit more jiggle to it, but overall they are pretty much identical, I would say. Okay, so obviously, or maybe not obviously, but for this video, I'm actually not gonna show you guys me installing each and every single one of these. Um, however cool it would be, but I may make a YouTube short getting every single one of them plugged in or something just to make sure everyone's satisfied, especially with all the clicking noises as a ton of them go in rapidly. Um, but that's going to sum up this video. I'll leave a link in the video description for the new ones. If you guys have seen my old video, that link will no longer work because, well, they just don't sell the old ones anymore. You're pretty much forced to buy the minis. Um, I haven't worked with them much. I haven't made a single one yet, but I think they're pretty much the same. So there's really nothing to be shown uh, there. But if you guys are interested and you wanna see me make a cable, or I'm sorry, maybe not make a cable, but uh, put a cable inside one of these and just show the process of like how to attach the cable to the Keystone, I'll do that. Uh, but just you know, drop some comments below, let me know if you're interested. If not, that's fine. Um, because again, I'm just trying to fill out the patch panel I'm not actually trying to use these. Well, I will use them if I have to, uh, but I don't like seeing all the blanks and I don't want blanks fill-ins or blank fill-ins for my patch panel. Um, I'd rather just have keystones, uh, which, you know, these are expensive, don't get me wrong. So I paid like about 75 bucks for all these, um, but I think it'll be worth it just from a look standpoint instead of having blanks there. But, you know, teach your own, I'm not judging. You guys can do whatever you want in your home labs. Uh, their goal is to obviously make it as clean as possible. So with all that being said, guys, if you guys want to see any more content related to these, drop a comment below, and I will see you all next time. Peace. It's weird when the camera follows me as I'm trying to do my outro. I'm like, come on, bro. I can't do an outro if you're following me.